What's going on guys? It's your boy K1 the Collector here and today I'm talking to you guys about ranked and how we can make it better. So guys, you guys know I've been pushing for ranked for a really long time and I thought, I mean I thought, I'm excited that we got it. It is, I mean it works, you know, we get into matches, sometimes we still get desynced and all of that stuff and we lag out of matches and all of that, but that doesn't happen too, too much to me. So the main thing is there's just it's just some little things that we must fix. So without further ado, we're going to get straight into it. So guys, one of the main things is, I mean, and it's some of the stuff is just like little gameplay stuff. So guys, in ranked, you got some cards like Undertaker and Shawn Michaels. And they're the main ones that I'm talking about when I talk about this. But guys, we got to get rid of these tired animations. So literally, when I'm when I'm when I'm in a match, and I I mean, it ain't even been a full minute in the match, but I have Sweet Chin music ready. I land a Sweet Chin music, and Shawn Michaels is all of a sudden tired and tired and has to crawl over. I have to crawl over to my opponent after I land Sweet Chin music just to pin them. Or, like, a, it feels like sometimes I'm being penalized for landing the Sweet Chin music because, I mean... It, I mean, so it'll be different and tired finishes really only like triggered like really late in a match or something or like or if I was like truly truly tired But nah, like I don't even I don't even like I'll still have stamina left and I'll land a sweet chin music And Shawn Michaels falls out like he did when he's when he when he sweet chin music like Ric Flair or something like like nah like Nah, I don't I don't like that. I don't like that. We can't do that. Undertaker, no ma almost no matter what time you hit the tombstone pile driver, he will fall out like he was in the middle of a hell in a cell match with Kane Edge and the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes and that is at the fifty fifth minute of the Hell in a Cell match and they're currently on top of the cell. He will fall out. Like that can't keep happening. Like this that's that's not cool. So I so I mean so could you fix it and make tired finishers make more sense? Yes. But I don't think you have to do all of that. I think that you should just take them out because I can't imagine I can't imagine people being like, "Oh my god, I really wish tired finishers were in ranked. I really really miss that. Like, I rank will never be the same without tired finishers." If that's not the case, then I don't believe that they should be in. If I mean if 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 the I mean I don't think anybody's going to truly miss tired finishers in online gameplay. So that is something I do believe should be taken out of ranked. Now for this next thing is um, I think we got we got to get rid of wake up animations. Now y'all might be like, hey, what is that's kind of crazy. Why would I have to get rid of a wake up animation? So I'm not talking about all wake up animations. So like charge finishers, the wake up animations that you, the wake up taunt that you do for your charge finisher. So like John Cena with his hands on his knees, waiting to hit the AA. Uh, the Rock bouncing around with his hand on his knee, waiting for the waiting, waiting to hit the Rock bottom. Randy Orton, uh, Randy Orton in reverses in his head, pounding the ground, uh, in Viper mode, ready to hit RKO, ready to strike. Stuff like that for charged finishers, just charged finishers though. That stuff for charged finishers, like that, that can stay. But just when you press up on the D-pad and I just get up regardless, nah, and I don't have control over my character for like five, ten seconds just because you did a wake-up taunt, no. The reason why what led me to that is because I was playing a ranked match, right? Move up the band, playing and playing a rank match, right? And we gonna I'm gonna just hop into some fashion wars while I'm talking to y'all. Uh, I was playing a rank match, and ooh, I almost messed up. I'm playing a rank match. Somebody's trying to count me out, right? While they're trying to count me out, they damage me enough to get the count to like seven. Now, mind you, I have an instant recovery. I just reversed something, but they knocked me back down. But I got an instant recovery, so I'm like, okay, cool. They run back in the ring. I'm just, I'm just gonna instant recover. So I'm press, I'm spamming X to get up. I'm about to be on one knee and about to run in the ring. The dude does a wake up taunt at the count of like seven and a half. I'm suspended in the wake up animation. So like it takes me about two seconds to get up, just for my character to fully get up. Because when somebody does a wake up animation, you get up very, very slowly. And then I'm groggy and stunned at the ninth second, and then I'm still groggy and stunned. The ref counts to 10, the match is over. That's crazy cheese. You shouldn't have control over my character for that long and be able to just, I like, like, 
literally you could go online and just win matches like that really early in the matches if you can keep somebody out the ring so for about until about till the reps count gets to like five six seven and then just go on the ring and do a wake-up taunt you're gonna win the match like that that's not really good so i don't think that that should stay in the game now the last thing that i can no not the last thing i'll say one more thing Nah, we'll make it the last thing. We'll make it the last thing. <laughs> My bad. But the last thing that I'm going to say, because it, this all, I had to debate about it because it all kind of mixes into one thing. Um, RP. RP doesn't really make sense to me. So how you lose it, how you gain it, the, it's not really, well, not how. It's the amount that you lose or gain uh, in matches. So... Say say I'm in a rank match, I win the rank match. Some rank matches I'll get three three RP. Sometimes I'll get two. Sometimes I'll play a rank match and I'll get 20 or even higher than that. But I'm not really understanding what it is that gives me more and what gives me less. So I'm sure there is some kind of formula to determine what that is, but what I think is that the public should be privy to what that is. We should be able to read, like, like so, like, uh, in EA Sports UFC, there is a thing on the screen that is, like, if the lower star, so, like, they're all of their, all of the fighters are rated by stars, uh, one through five star. They'd be, like, but something that says, is like, the lower your, the lower your fighter is, the lower rating he is, so if you're using, like, a three star or four star, the more, the more rank points you will get uh, for, for winning a fight, and don't let you be fighting somebody who's like a five star, if you win with a lower star character, you will get a lot of rank points, so I think they need something like that, I think they need to tell us basically, if you do this, you will get this much, or you, or if you don't do this, you won't get as much, or if your opponent is fighting with this level card, and you beat him, say you're using like a galaxy opal, and your opponent's using an emerald, you're not gonna get that many my faction points, or if you lose that match, you're going to lose, I mean, not my fashion points, uh, RP. Or if you lose that match, you're going to lose a lot of RP because there's no way you should be losing that match. Or if somebody's just like, or if, or if you're fighting someone that is ranked in Emerald and you're ranked at Pink Diamond and you lose, you're going to lose a lot. And f just for the to vice versa for them, if they win, they're going to win a lot. So I think we just need to be privy to knowledge like that because RP isn't really making sense. Like I said, one match i'll i'll get five and then i'll face the and i'll and i'll be using my ruby stone cold or whatever and i'll face like a ruby on taker i'll get five i win another match i'll be facing a ruby Shawn michaels and i'll get like 20 like i like i'm saying i don't i don't understand so i just need an explanation and i and, and i kind of seems like it might be beyond an an, uh, an explanation it just kind of seems like it just needs some tuning anyway for it to just make sense and be more consistent that is what i need in ranked in order to just get all this stuff together guys so that is really it though guys for ranked uh there's always room for improvement like i said i am very excited that ranked is finally in our game but i appreciate y'all for watching until next time i will see you guys later ah peace out peace